Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. Alright, we've got some penis questions, okay? Question one. My penis is really big for my age. Is that normal? Well, I would suspect the person who asked this question is definitely within puberty range. So that means that any major concerns for a penis being too big are probably already behind you. So the second thing I would say is that penis size is generally genetic. And so you probably have a similar size penis to those in your family. And that is just what you were born with. If you have any concerns that things are happening before puberty starts, which again I don't think is going to be your situation, certainly talk with your doctor. But larger penises, while often seen as great things by our society, can actually sometimes be uncomfortable and difficult for, for an individual. So if this is the case, don't be ashamed to talk to your doctor about it, but I suspect everything is totally fine and probably just proceeding as your relatives have. Okay, question number two. I'm turning 15 in exactly two days, and I haven't seen any growth in my penis yet, and it's starting to worry me. Okay, so on the flip side, it sounds like this person is not noticing any enlargement of the penis, and that can be okay too. But the answer is, is this okay, depends really where you are in puberty. So medically speaking, at the age of 15, and you haven't seen any puberty signs, we would want to talk to you about potentially just delayed puberty or a late bloomer, which can be completely healthy and totally normal, nothing to worry about. But also keep in mind that puberty happens over years, and so you're not going to see an immediate change in penis size, testicle size, or body hair. It really takes many, many years. And so if you truly don't think you have seen any changes in the penis and you are worried about puberty not starting, or if you think puberty has finished, which one way you can tell is that if you have adult-like pubic hair on the inside of your thighs, then that might be a reason to talk to a doctor. But you could also be a late bloomer. You could ask your parents when they went through puberty, and you're probably on that same timeline. But I wouldn't worry too much about it, but it's definitely worth a discussion with your, your doctor. Question number three. Is there a problem with the penis if it doesn't get erect in the morning? Not necessarily. So the morning wood is actually an erection that happens during the REM stage of sleep, so the rapid eye movement stage of sleep, which is when we dream. And we actually cycle through this about three to four times a night. And so just because you don't see it when you wake up doesn't mean it hasn't happened at some point during the night. The other thing is you usually have to wake up during REM sleep or close to REM sleep in order to see that morning wood. But if you wake up during a different stage of sleep, then you're not going to see it. And that's okay. When I would say for a younger person that it's a problem is if you have a hard time getting and maintaining an erection when you're awake. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Question number four. I'm uncircumcised and I am able to retract my foreskin when soft and erect. However, I need to pull it back when it's erect instead of it retracting by itself. I don't really feel any pain when I retract it hard or soft, but is there any way I can get it to retract by itself? Not really. It just sounds like you have extra foreskin, and that's okay. Keep in mind that when you are using a condom, and even sometimes when not, a little extra lube on the inside of the condom or on the penis and foreskin can help with that foreskin movement and make that a little bit more comfortable for you. But it's okay. If it's a lot and it really interferes with sex or makes you uncomfortable, you can always talk to a doctor. And question number five. When I masturbate, I occasionally ejaculate under five minutes and my semen is thicker and whiter in color. But other times it takes me more than an hour to finish and my semen becomes much clearer and more watery. Is there a reason for this and is this an issue? So the duration of masturbation and the consistency of semen, really, there wouldn't really be much of a link. What would probably more be related is how often 
you are masturbating. Uh, but if it fluctuates every once in a while from clear and watery to thicker and chunkier, that's totally fine. The normal consistency of semen is going to be clear, white, creamy, or even sometimes they say grayish in color. And clumpiness can be just clumps of protein. It doesn't sound like you have an issue that needs medical attention, but if you were to notice a change in your semen consistency, in the color, um, something like yellow or green, or if you develop pain with ejaculation or pain with peeing, those would be reasons to see a doctor. But it sounds like you're totally normal. It can certainly fluctuate from day to day. Alrighty, that wraps up penis questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.